we are moving into Christmas time or what most people call winter holiday time, winter holiday moments. And my big mantra has always been making moments with people matter. Making moments matter. Taking back talk. What I mean is that the moments coming ahead of us this year are really important in our families, our friends, and our colleagues, and our profitable partnerships that we have all year. When I talk about these things, I am often reminded of the two moments in Japanese life that we are thankful to those people, and we demonstrate it by a gift mid-year and a gift at the end of the year, in New Year's, in fact. But in America, we have these upcoming three to four or five, depending on what you celebrate, holidays that help us to renew life. Right now, we are walking down the path here in this month towards All Hallows Eve. And All Hallows Eve is typically the time in America when we have Renaissance fairs going on, when we have people reminding us of the harvest. We have pumpkin patch pickings, we have apple pickings, we have wine country opportunities and events, and that's what Americans are usually doing this time of year. We also have to suffer through the ugliness of evil masks and attitudes about ghosts and goblins and ghouls and demons, which are some true and untrue. But I'm a kid from Japan, and I watch Gay Gay Guitaro too, which is like their version of Scooby-Doo with actual um, mythological creatures of Japan. And I loved it. My kid and I watched it a lot on uh, Saturday or Sunday television or after school television. I can't even remember when it was on, but that was a long time. 20 plus years. But what I'm saying to you is that in America, we have to have the right to be here. And the right to be here is based on food. And all our holidays going forward are fully about celebrating American food. So as you're heading into your holidays, the things I want to ask you to do is to start to plan ahead. Because who's to say what's going to happen to America and society and your work and your corporations right now? As you head into Halloween, start stockpiling your proteins, your canned fruits, preferably not canned vegetables because they're gross, but that's just my opinion. But I'm just laughing about that and that I have known the difference between fresh and canned. But what I'm saying to you is for your own family, put some things on the shelf. Do a little prepping for coming up opportunities where you can have someone over and do something with food. Start putting a little extra salad dressing on the shelf. Start prepping for Thanksgiving and looking for the foods and planning the recipes that you're going to do with the most significant people of your life and figure out how you're going to do that. Are you going to go to everybody's houses and deliver a little bit of food and then everybody sits down on video cameras and eats together? Or are you going to actually take the risk and have everybody over despite the time of COVID in which everybody finally reveals their masks, which they're starting to do in restaurants anyway, and just sucks it up and said, you know, every day in America, our whole lives, we've been at risk to disease, we've been at risk to death, and just celebrate the end of the year. And of course, then there's Christmas time, which is the most glorious time, I feel, outside of Valentine's Day, in America to celebrate the love of America, the love of your spouse, the love of your children, the love of your family and friends network that are a part of your love life whether that is in passionate, intimate settings, or whether that's in gratitude for your employment. But openly, we have to put some additional things aside for people who are in struggle because companies are folding all across America. And opportunities don't typically get promoted a lot during holidays. I've been a long observational person, empirical data-based person about how major manufacturing companies go through shutdown around Thanksgiving to Christmas, but at the same time, most organizations, most businesses run their year January through December, or in some cases, depending on tax time, a different way. But the point is that during those holiday months, very few people are hired in any way. Now, that might just be true for the Midwest. It might not be true at all for the East or West Coast, where maybe they don't celebrate the same way of faith-based holidays. But I cannot say, because I have not lived in those areas for any significant amount of time, 
But usually when we watch television shows of people who tend to live all over America, we see that they're celebrating no different way than we are.